on this video if you read the title then you already know this is going to be my q a honey my questions and answers you guys i went on my facebook page i went on my instagram and i also went on my snapchat and i asked everyone to dm me or i think it's this app called y-o-l-o i'll try to leave a um, picture of the app right here but it's also an app that you can download to get people to send you questions anonymously so i also did that on my snapchat to get you guys to answer i mean not answer to ask me questions and of course you guys came through i appreciate everybody that app that app why i can't talk why i can't talk but um i appreciate everybody that came through and asked me all the questions you guys so yes let's hop right into this video <clears throat> so i got all my little questions on here that everyone asked so question number one is do you want more kids Yes, I already have two kids. I have a seven-year-old and I have a 11-month-old. And I do want at least one to two more kids. I don't mind, y'all. I used to want to be a surrogate mom, so trust me. Having more kids is right up my alley. It's just something about pregnancy and stuff that I just absolutely adore and I absolutely love. So, yes, I would absolutely love to have at least one to two more kids. Um, <clears throat> question number two, are you currently in a relationship? No, I am currently not in a relationship. I'm single and I'm pretty bummed about it like I would really like to be on somebody's arm and stuff but nevertheless I ain't tripping off that because you know I'm just not tripping I'm not gonna tell y'all why I ain't tripping but I'm not tripping off of it I, I am single though but before the year ends though your girl somebody gonna cuss me some somebody gotta cuss me okay um question number three Question number three, is there anyone special in your life? Yes, there's someone special in my life. Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. But um, yeah, like there's someone special in my life that if they said, hey, you want to be in a relationship today? I'd probably be like, yeah, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I think we all have that one special person in your life that, you know, if they've ever been ready for a relationship with you or you was ready for a relationship with them, you'd go to them first. So yeah, that it just is what it is i can't go into any more details about that then it just is what it is like we all have that one person that that's special in our lives that we don't mind getting a relationship with see i think you all think y'all try to play me y'all thought i was gonna be like oh yeah it's this nigga that i'm talking to i'm really in love with and i'm kicking it with I'm going to outsmart y'all. I'm going to outsmart y'all. But yes, I do have someone special in my life. And they could call tomorrow. Like, hey, let's get in a relationship. I'm like, hey, okay, let's do it. Um. So, yeah. What's this? What's your advice on getting over a heartbreak? <clears throat> Honey. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't even have an answer to that because it's 2020 and I'm still um, trying to mentally uh, mentally get over some things that happened last year and the year before last. You know what I'm saying? They was just as bad as heartbreaks. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That's a good question. But I can say, have faith that, it is, that you will get over it eventually. I have faith in what I'm still trying to get over I'm going to get over it. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I, and, and most importantly, make sure you forgive. First thing, make sure you forgive. Second thing, know that it's a process. Some people can say, oh, I'm over this. I'm getting over this. I'm done with this. They can say, oh, this, this, that, and not really be over. It's easier said than done. Trust me. Because I remember I told somebody like, yeah, I'm, we talking about this. I'm getting over this. And I, re I, I, I still went over it like I thought I was. I thought that was going to help me, but it wasn't. So just have the faith that you're going to get over it and make sure you forgive that person for their heartbreak and make sure you want to move on from it. You have to be ready to move on from it. That's all. Um, 
Number five, what do you like most about being a mom? I think the thing I like most about being a mom is just being able to see my kids grow and teach them, um, show them different things, you know, make sure I, I instill the right things in them and make sure that I grow them up to be the most productive little person they want to be, whether they want to go outside and, and pick flowers for a living or um, sing for a living, whatever it is. I just want my kids to be the best type of person that they want to be, not who I want them to be, who they want to be. So, um, that's what I like being, being about a mom. I mean, that's what I like the most about being about a mom. Just watching my little people, little people that I had, little people that came from me, you know what I'm saying? Half of me, like, that's so dope. Like, that is so dope. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> number six, why you don't sing anymore? I do still sing from time to time. I guess I don't be singing on, like, social media like I was. However, I am going to start back. I absolutely love singing. I do feel like, you know how they be saying, God give you talents, and if you don't use it, he take them from you. I do feel like in the last couple years, like, he kind of, like, took my gift away just a little bit. I wasn't as good as I felt like I should have been, and it's probably because I hadn't been practicing or doing what I was supposed to be doing with my voice. So, however, I do plan on, you know, start back singing and stuff, just purely entertainment. That's all. So, yeah. Um, Number seven, where will you launch your lip gloss collection? If you guys don't know, I started on my lip gloss collection a couple of months back. Um, I kind of lost focus in it because I um, honestly just really wanted to get back on YouTube. Um, YouTube has been my thing for the longest. So I think once I get a grasp on my schedule and everything with YouTube and trying to figure out how I'm going to do this YouTube thing, I think that's when I'll start back doing my lip gloss collection. However, Kenya K, Caribbean, we are, we, we doing this this year. This lip gloss we're doing, we're going to do an eyeshadow palette, y'all. I'm so excited about it. I'm collabing with somebody from my hometown to do this bum ass eyeshadow palette. So make sure y'all be looking for that whenever I lunch it. But y'all will be the first to know when I'm lunching it. Um, <clears throat> y'all ask some crazy questions. How did you get so thick? Sweetheart, I'm just going to be 1,000 with you. It, it runs in the family. Like, my mama thick, my grandma thick, my grandma on my daddy's side thick, you know, on my biological father's side. Not my daddy, but my biological father's side. Um, she's thick. So, it's just natural, like, you know. But having booty don't mean nothing, y'all. So, don't be like, oh, I was up. Because you're be like, give me a piece of that booty. You can get it. Because my back be hurting. It really, really be hurting. Especially since I got the air purple. Like, my back really be hurting. So, y'all get a little booty. Um, Number nine. Do you plan on dating anytime soon? I do. Like, I'm not in a rush to date. But if the right person comes into my life and wants to date, I have no issue with that. Um, I think, um, one of the biggest things people be like, oh, I'm single. I don't mind being single. I don't mind being single. I don't care about being single. However, I do feel like as humans, we are not equipped to be alone for the rest of our, rest of our lives. So it is important to go out and mingle or associate yourself with people. So yes, like when the time is right and I feel like I'm ready, most importantly, I am going to start back dating. Um, uh, y'all some messy question the next question was do you miss your kid's father oh y'all didn't say fathers you said father um next question what do you see yourself in the next five years <laughs> y'all crazy y'all crazy what do you see yourself in the next five years honey i see myself buying me a house two cars in a garage Credit where it's supposed to be, bank account loaded, kids nice and healthy, top YouTuber, top, top, top YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? I plan on having millions of subscribers by then and taking y'all along this journey in life with me, you know what I'm saying? The next five years, I, in the next one to two years, I want to be married, you know what I'm saying? I want to be married. So, I'm not going to say the next five years, I, I see myself being married, nigga, I want to be married in the next one to two years, okay? Um... There's some other things I want to do, like business, as far as businesses. I do plan on having at least two businesses in the next five years. So, you know, we're going to do that. Like I said, being a top YouTuber, YouTuber, being an amazing mom, being an amazing entrepreneur, being an amazing daughter, granddaughter, niece, you know, auntie, all that. So, yeah, that's why I see myself in the next five years. What's your advice to someone who wants to try a relationship? Try it. Like, why not? Why you don't want to try it? Try it. Like, 
I think you have to want to try it. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody push you or make you want to do it. It got to be something you want to do. And if you're going to do it, make sure you're listening with your ear. If you're going to do it, make sure you do it the right way. Make sure that you fully committed to it. Make sure you don't want to cheat. Make sure you don't want to lie. Make sure you don't want to do none of that because nobody has time for heartaches and breakups and all this stuff. You playing your whole lives with these people just to break up because of this, something stupid. Make sure it's what you want to do. So to answer your question, what's your advice to someone who wants to try a relationship? Try it. Um, what kind of phone do you have? I have an iPhone XR. This is an iPhone 6S. It's actually my daughter's phone, but I had to take it for school reasons. So I use it now to do my YouTube stuff. So yeah, I got an iPhone XR. I have an iPhone 6. Um, I was thinking about y'all let me um y'all let me know down in the in the comment section. But I was thinking about getting a new iPhone. Because I need a new camera. Even though the phone, the camera on my phone now is working good. I'm recording off my XR right now. But I want a better quality camera. I know the L, the iPhone 11 Pro Max or 11 Pro is real, real good. Um, or I'm trying to debate should I get a computer. The bigger side of me thinks get a computer and invest in the actual camera. So you guys let me know what you guys decide to do. Um, I mean, not what y'all decide to do. What y'all think I should do. Give me some ideas. Um... <clears throat> What made you want to do YouTube videos? I've always did, done YouTube videos. Like, I, I've really been posting and doing YouTube videos over four years. There's a lot of videos on my channel that I do have private now that you can't see just because they're older and I was so inexperienced. Um, but I probably will make those back public again just so you guys can see the growth. But I've always just wanted to do YouTube. I've always felt like I should be an actress. I've just I always just felt what I felt about you know, YouTube and acting and everything. So, yeah. So, YouTube, it, it's easy for me. It's natural for me. It's something that I can wake up every morning and see myself doing. Um, I absolutely love watching YouTube. I'm on, I'm on YouTube 90% 90, 90 of the time when I'm watching something, it's on YouTube. Not regular cable or Netflix and all of that. Like, I'm usually on YouTube. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, Next question. I'm slowly approaching my due date. You look so happy and amazing while you were pregnant. Can you tell me how your experience was while you were pregnant and giving birth? I have a video. I'm going to leave it the card right here, right there, whichever way. Y'all know. Sometimes we point over here and it's actually right there. So I'm going to point both ways. I'm going to leave a, um, a stamp on this video. And I'm going to leave the link in my description box on how um, my pregnant, not how my pregnancy went, but how was the giving birth experience. Oh my gosh. It was, it was one. It was one for sure. I'll never forget. Um, but however, I do not want to talk about my uh, pregnancy experience, like how I went through my pregnancy and stuff, just because it's kind of sensitive to me. Um, so yeah, I won't be talking about I, I can't give you no insight on that unless you was like a real close friend, which the person that asked me, we aren't that close. But if you need advice or anything, you always know you can hit me up and call me and ask me. I don't mind sharing my experience, but... It's something that I'm not willing to talk about publicly because of how sensitive it is to me. So, yeah. Um, What's your favorite food? My favorite food is seafood, honey. I love seafood. I actually love all type of food. I'm pretty sure that y'all can tell by the way I look. Your girl likes to eat. Like, I love eating. Like, I don't discriminate. There's not too many foods that I do not like. So, seafood is my favorite, but everything is my favorite. Like, I like to eat, eat y'all. I really like to eat. I need to get control of it, but I like eating. Seafood is my favorite, though. Um, what's the next question? Okay, do you ever want to get married? Of course, like I just told y'all, the next year or two, somebody gonna is it this finger? Yeah, somebody gonna put a finger. I mean, not a finger, somebody gonna put a ring on my finger. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, I, I've always wanted to be married. Like, I've I've actually wanted to be married before I even had kids. But I do think, I do know things happen sometimes and out of order. But, however, I do want a husband, honey. I do want a husband. Um, What makes you happy? That's the next question. Life makes me happy. My kids make me happy. My special friend makes me happy. My family makes me happy. Doing YouTube makes me happy. Watching YouTube makes me happy. Being around my friends and having a good time and traveling, especially traveling, that makes me happy. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> next question. What's one thing in your life you wish you could change? Honestly, <clears throat> there's nothing in my life that I wish I could change. And I'll tell you why. 
If I change one thing in my life right now, it probably would change everything else around me or the other events that took place in my life. And I am thankful for where I am today versus where I used to be. So I don't want to change anything. I'm just grateful for this learning experience. I'm grateful for this journey. I'm grateful for where God is about to take me. I'm grateful for where I am right now. So I don't want to change anything in my life. Why are you so pretty? Honey, I don't know. Just call it good genetics. I ain't pretty every day, y'all, though. Sometimes I be looking rough, but who isn't? You know what I'm saying? I can't do this every day. I can't do this every day. But, yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Nevertheless, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> next question. I know you're single. Do you ever miss being in a relationship? I do miss being in a relationship. Y'all, it's just something about waking up to the person that you truly love every single day. Like, you know, even if y'all didn't get to wake up to each other every day, you send each other messages throughout the day to encourage each other, just be there for each other, just let somebody know that you care about them and you love them. Like being able to see the world with somebody, being able to build with someone, being able to buy their first house with your best friend. And I, I call them, if you're my significant other and you're the love of my life, 10 times out of 10, you my best friend, you my ho we homies. So I absolutely do miss being in a relationship because I miss all those things. I do want all of those things for my life. So yes, I do miss being in a relationship. Um, the last question was, what attracts you to a man? No, that ain't the last question. Somebody asked me how old I was. Okay. What attracts you to a man? Um, definitely not his paycheck. A lot of people are like, oh, you gotta have that money. But if I got my own money, I can't focus on what you got, honey, because, you know, you can bring it to the table, but I'm going to have my own bread. What attracts me to a man? Um, Just him, his personality, who he is, what type of light he, I guess, um, puts out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got this energy about them. Everybody got this vibe. And I'm one of those type of people. I am one of those type of people that goes off of energy and vibes. Honey, if I can feel it, I can feel it. So I guess it's not all about a physical feature for me that makes me attractive to a man. It's just who he is that attracts me to him. Um, oh, no, I do got another question. What would you say is your best feature? If I had to say, it'd probably be my lips and my eyes. A lot of people probably that know me probably like, oh, your booty because your booty big. But I could give a damn about no booty, y'all. Like my eyes and my lips, like that's my best feature to me. Like I absolutely love my eyes and my lips. But, and my smile, when I say lips, I mean smile, y'all. But yeah, my smile and my eyes, like those are my best features to me. And last question, how old are you? I am 26. I'll be turning 27 July 16th, you guys. So make sure y'all leave me some suggestions down below on what I should do for my birthday because I'm trying to get litty, litty, litty this year. It's going to be on and pop honey because I owe it to myself. I got to go somewhere. I got to do something. So yes, you guys, if you guys have enjoyed this question and answer, aka this Q&A, <laughs> make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Make sure you leave your girls comments down below. I truly enjoy making this video, y'all. I really, really enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video.